Thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now, where we bring you the latest in all things data in business and industry. I'm now joined by Tor Kamsberg, Senior Advisor, Data Driven Business at Salita. Such a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank today. you very much to be here. It's nice, nice to be here. Given the difficult business climate that we're in right now, your suggest would love your suggestion on where companies should focus to get the most value out of their data initiatives. Yeah, well, actually, I think the 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 climate we're in right now. Oh, it's unfortunate. Things are canceled and and uh, um, things are going down, but. Actually, in these times, I think if you look at um, the services we are in, we're in the service business, it's actually increasing uh, usually in these times because you have to get even more sharp on data. Um, that, that's, that's my conclusion. Um, and, and I think that if you look at the opportunities here to, to how to handle that from a data perspective, perhaps you should get that theme into the innovation process around data, actually, uh, because uh, rough times or that's a force of, of innovation. So get that into your innovation process and, and, and get people to think about, okay, given the times we have, what, what, what should we aim at to how, to how to build value from that? That's one if you look more internally. But also, if you look outside of your organization, realize that your clients' clients have new, type, new types of challenges. And perhaps this is a good opportunity to tap into your, your clients' uh, relationship to their clients. So, so try to innovate how to support them and perhaps look at uh, external use cases and also towards suppliers because the, the, you, you if you find value there, you can actually build an extremely strong relationship to, to, uh, to your clients uh, if you help them in their business. Um, so external data products might be more in focus in these times. And that's actually something we see more of, actually, uh, uh, more, that, that, that the usage of your data goes beyond outside your own organization more. You know, during tough economic times, also great opportunity. I want to take a step outside of tech. Can you say something about how to get more value out of data and initiatives, you know, really outside of, of the tech world? And what's important to consider more around the modern tech fueled with trusted data? Yeah, well, I, I really love this question, actually, because this is, this is sort of where my mission goes. <laughs> To, to uh, I mean, this is a tech event, but but uh, I try to look at that part of business and and how to ensure those things. And and I think actually you 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 sometimes must take take a step back and actually agree in your organization that a tech isn't really the, the answer. And and to to look agree on, on management level that we must acknowledge here. That, that also those sort of fluffier parts of things uh, are, are important. And that might seem very obvious, but that's a starting point because, because you, you, there is a risk in, in that it's easy to buy tech and buy projects and invest in those things, but it's a bit more complicated to invest in things like, well, the data governance here and how to, how to ensure value of data and, and data democracy things, those things must be sort of agreed upon from top level to be invested in, um, I think. And also another thing I think is that data should go into sea level um, because it's, it's considered a strategic thing, more or less, more or less uh, everywhere. But you still see that too much of these data and data driven ambitions are considered IT. No, well, even if you have a, like a forward leaning IT, strategic things belong in or very close to sea level. And the reason for that is actually that, no, um, well, that's to have a more consistent pers or persistency on data initiatives. Because when, when, you, when, you, when you have the buy-in from top, you can, you can really uh, get the long-term commitment that is needed. And, and that is, I think, one really, really, um, important part. Given that you have done something like that, <laughs> if I have take some more, more time on this, 
it's important to, to create a, a, a common map of, of the data journey because that creates like a landscape that you, you, you agree upon and you have a common, common language of, on concepts. And, and that is also really uh, important when you take decisions together, you, you know what you're talking about. And, and, and actually we, we, we have put a lot of emphasis on this. So, so we, we use something, a very, very simple thing called the data, Solita data puzzle to, it's really an extremely simple co uh, concept. You can Google it, use it, uh, and remember where it comes from, but, but it's, it's self-explanatory and it really works as a way of maneuvering to build your capabilities in the right order. Um, I think those, those, that's pretty fluffy things, but but you tend to go in, in that direction in, in, in that point, kind of question. You know, I couldn't agree more. It has to start from the top level down to have a proper, proper data strategy. For the audience watching, you know, what's the best way to get management on board and get buy-in from those important key stakeholders? Yeah, I think um, there are, of course, different, different things um, around this, uh, but I think that one, one, one part that is quite often mi uh, missing is that there is not a very clear vision on how the data initiatives will actually drive the, 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 the business KPIs uh, to, to, to connect the, the, a clear vision on that, on, on how the initiatives are actually affecting the, 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 the business going ahead. Um, that, that is a, a really important part to sort of, if you go down to the use cases you're actually executing, if you have done that and have a lineage from that point down to why are we actually doing this, then you can, then you can um, explain that this, this little MVP produced value and pushed a KPI in the right direction. Having the correlation. Yeah, and then, then you, th that's, that's a very important part, I think. And another thing to mention here is that to, to get management buy-in on in it, important initiatives, get really good at quantifying effects. And, and, and that sounds a bit obvious and, and it's a very tricky one, but, but actually if, if you look into uh, that, for instance, you can team with, with finance. They are really good at, at getting the numbers on the business and, and calculating things, even if they are not super clear. But to get good at quantifying business cases around data, because some of the most important business cases around data are hard to quantify. I mentioned data governance, for instance. Right. Those kind of initiatives are fundamental. Yeah. You know, the, the buzz and excitement is all around us here at um, Snowflake Data Cloud World Tour in Stockholm. I want to dive into something you mentioned a little earlier in the program, and that's the Salida data puzzle. As a map towards a data-driven, really, nirvana, that sounds great, yeah. but what would you say is the single most important piece in this puzzle, and why is this so important to your day-to-day -day objectives at Salida? Well, the, uh, it's, it's, we don't have the puzzle in front of us, but, but there are like pieces like skills and technology, of course, and data, and. Uh, and you, you have to address things like organization and put the right roles in place. And, and I mentioned vision and stuff like that. Those are pieces, but I, I actually would say that the, the, the culture part in the puzzle is, I consider the most important thing. And, and that is extremely fluffy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but, but if you, what is data-driven culture? Well, that's, that's actually the, the, the willingness, the, the pool the pull from the business to actually use the capabilities we have that's the that's the culture and if we yeah, and you can you can work on that and and when you get an, uh, an organization that really wants to change to to listen to the data and and, and actually challenge ongoing business based on on data uh, and things like that and really want to do that it becomes fun and I think that Everything, if you look around you, everything that, are, that, that, are, that is fun usually gets done in a good way. And the opposite goes as well, that if you are forced upon something that you should listen to these numbers, 
that's your job. It doesn't really get fun, and it per perhaps you try to find ways around it. To get that pull, uh, that's the culture, and you can change it. You can, you can have that as a part of your roadmap on actions on how to build culture. Um, I, think, I think another element too that's gonna be so important over the coming months and years for internal teams is data literacy as well. Yeah. Because you need everyone really singing and playing from the same same playbook, if you will, Tor. Yeah, and, and, and you could do the, do, take that analogy a step uh, further, actually, because you have the literacy. Right. That's the ability to do things. But you also must want to use it. Right. And, and, and so the, the, that's, that's the culture. Uh, and good examples, the right people, the right attitude, the right actually from top uh, promoting things that are using the data possibilities. That's building culture. And, and also the right partners as well. And I know I'm looking at Solita's booth right yeah, behind this you is a here good one. Yeah. at um, <laughs> Data Cloud World Tour here in yeah. Stockholm. Tour, such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud now. Any final remarks you'd like to deliver to the audience watching? No, I think, uh, I mean, my mission is to, to look beside the tech and, and that is surprisingly often not done. So please do. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much for joining me. An absolute pleasure yeah. sitting down with you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.